right, well, if you didn't know, uh, it's NBA playoff time. Let's go. NBA playoffs here, so we're going to take you through Amazing. all of the matchups. We'll start out in the Eastern Conference. Mm -hmm. We lead things off with your number one seeded Toronto Raptors against the number eight seeded Washington Wizards. And you know what, Tom? I'm a little bit disappointed because the Toronto Raptors didn't actually reach 60 wins. They only ended up with 56. They had a chance they and they totally blew it. it. They can't win when it matters. No, I, I guess not. They lost a bunch of games down the stretch, but they have a fun first round matchup coming up against the Wizards. But this is a different Raptors team than in years past. This is a Raptors team that has completely changed how they play on offense. They've also started rotating more with their bench. They have the best bench in the entire NBA, but the guy that is bench real, don't matter. The bench does matter in the playoffs. Bench always matters in the playoffs. The bench is actually what won the Warriors the finals last year. Thank you very much. It wasn't just Kevin Durant. It was the fact that the bench outscored the Cleveland Cavaliers by over 50 points throughout the entire series. So it was a pretty big deal. And the Raptors have the best bench in the NBA going into this year. Every advanced statistic says so. Fred Van Vliet coming off the bench has been fantastic. CJ Miles has been way better for the Raptors than he ever was for the Indiana Pacers. This is a different Raptors team than years past. And maybe finally the Raptors team that can make an indent on the playoffs because they have been a massive failure over the past couple of seasons. But the guy that has really changed it for them on defense this year has been Serge Ibaka. And he's my X factor for the Raptors in the playoffs because he's the only player on the team that has made it to a finals before. And they need that kind of experience on the team. Ibaka was obviously on that finals team a couple years ago with the Thunder. He was a huge difference maker for them. Still, he's not the Serge Ibaka of old, or as I like to call him, Serge Ibaka, one of the best defensive big men down low. He would block literally everything. But he's going to be matched up with an important player for the Wizards. That's Markeith Morris, who has been one of the better fours over the past two years in terms of their improved play. Ibaka is going to have to play good defense on him. I think it's a really good overall option for them down low. We'll see what ends up happening with Serge Ibaka as we continue to go forward. But at the same time, he's going to be a big part of what they do on defense. All right, let's take a, now, let's take a look at what the, uh, their matchup in this one, the Washington Wizards, mm -hmm. can bring to the team, Harris. Yeah, and this is a, a more interesting kind of team because the entire team has been falling apart, Tom, and it's absolutely outrageous. They've all fallen apart since the start of the year. They're publicly feuding in the media. They're calling each other out on social media. You know, uh, Marcin Gortat and John Wall are feuding with each other. It's absolutely outrageous. I can't believe that the Wizards are going through this again. This team has never been able to get their stuff under order when it matters most, and now you have John Wall and Bradley Beal not getting along all over again. But at the same time, if you look at their talent level compared to the other teams in the East, they have a ton of top-end talent. They have John Wall, they have Bradley Beal, they have Otto Porter, and they have Marcin Gortat. They have guys who can score, they have a good defensive rotation, they have a decent enough head coach in Scott Brooks. They just haven't had a good regular season because so many people have been dealing with injuries. John Wall's been going in and out. And there's also been a lot of rumors around him that he just doesn't care anymore now that he got paid. This is John Wall's chance to finally take a team from the depths of the Eastern Conference and make them matter. If there is ever a year for John Wall to show up and to show out, this is the year, but he's not going to do it without Otto Porter, who's really taken a step forward this year in terms of his overall playmaking. He's been much more active in the offensive side of the ball. He's been the defensive stalwart, as he's always been. He's been a great three-point shooter for them this year, and he is a huge matchup with OG Anubia from the Toronto Raptors, who's been one of the best rookies in the NBA, but Otto Porter is going to do everything he can to slow him down. I'm really excited to see what Otto Porter brings to the table this year. I think this is the best shape that he's been in going into a playoff series and the best overall battle basketball that he's played in his career so far. So watch out for Otto Porter. Watch out for this team in general. I think this Wizards uh, lineup overall is going to be a tough, tough matchup for the Toronto Raptors. This isn't a bad Wizards team at all. This is a good Wizards team that has just had to deal with a lot of injuries. But I don't know if any of you guys, who do you got? You're going to take the Raptors or you're going to take the Wizards? Tom, Raptors, Wizards. It's think? Raptors. Okay. I have slandered Toronto. They'll, they'll fall apart when it matters, but they're good enough to mm -hmm. get by Washington. And I want to make this clear. My official prediction for this, I have the Raptors taking this one in six. Oh, I, I think the Wizards are going to be tough. They will win a couple games. They're going to win a game in Toronto, and they're going to win a game at home, but they're not going to be able to beat the Raptors in a, in a, in a full series.